Okay, fantastic. So uh, I'm so excited because today I'm talking to uh, Cassandra from Trinity College. So Cassandra, welcome. And uh, you have literally raised the game and you're on your dream course. Where are you right now? I am currently in Trinity College. I'm studying pediatric nursing. Fantastic. And it's a few months ago we met, so you have an interesting story. So how many points, by the way, to get uh, into pediatric nursing in Trinity? Okay, so you need, for, uh, initially the course 470. I think it's around that this year. Um, but I got over 500 in my leaving cert, so I was, I had, a, you know, I had more than what I needed, to say the least. And you went up by, by over 200 points from the first time you did the Leaving Cert, so you repeated, and that's when we met last year. So um, just to give a little bit of context, we met, uh, I say last academic year, it was around March, and you were just after the mock exams, isn't that correct? Yeah, so we were just after the mock exams and kind of didn't get results we wanted. Um, you know, it was a one or two I might have failed that kind of you know didn't really um how did I put this it didn't put into perspective how well I could do and okay I think that poor I couldn't say it was poor American I just thought that maybe oh god should I sit the ordinary level paper should I do this should I do that and I said no I'm repeating for a reason so I still went and took the higher level papers. I think the mocks are just there to scare people a bit into reality, a tiny bit. Um, no, it was a bit of a wake up call at one point, but to say the least, they don't know him. And when we met, it was in Mercy College Sligo, and we had did a, I did a seminar, and you at that stage it was March, and you were going to go from 300 points to 500 points. How did you achieve that? What made the difference? So I decided that the leaving search is over talked about. Um, okay. It was just really, really over talked about. Hold on one second now. Sorry, I'm after losing you on camera. Give me one second. You're okay. No. Um, I just decided that the leaving search was over talked about. It was constant. What does she want to get? What's this person going to get? Who's going to get 625? What do they want to do in college? That was the big thing for me. It was, um, the initial plan was I repeated from medicine. I knew, like, the first year I did my leaving search, just for personal reasons. Um, I was very sick in my first year doing my leaving search, not only physically but mentally. And yeah. unfortunately, I just didn't have the headspace. And I kind of got disheartened by my first results. And then people were like, oh, you go up maximum 50 points in your leaving search if you're lucky. And I said, no, no, it's not going to be that way. Yeah, if you're going for something, give it a go. Um, so I just said to myself, I've done this before. And I'll never forget walking out of my last exam, the first year I'd done my leaving search. And I said that, I just, I remember getting into the car. I remember my dad looking at me and he goes, um, what's wrong? And I burst out crying. And he goes, what's wrong? And I go, it was just a massive massive talk about nothing it was they were just exams they're a piece of paper they're over I said you know and that was fine I just said I'm not having that this year I just said I'm going to just ease into things like a second year would to Christmas exams like a fifth year would to you know maybe past papers do you know that sort of thing like Christmas exams Easter exams summer exams they're all similar they're all similar except everything is just bunched together once it comes to the late insert. And when you say they're all similar, what do you mean by similar? They're all repetition. Questions are all repetition in the leaving search. Um, for anyone that's been going over past papers, it's constant repetition. They're not going to ask you anything wild. They're not there to catch it out. You know, and unfortunately, when you do it, it seems like that. But they're not. They're there, they're there to give you points. You know, you're, you don't start off with 100% and you're downgraded. You're upgraded. You know, that's why rechecks are there. You know, it's different things like that. So for you, obviously, made a significant jump. So from the first year to the second year, so you went up by over 200 to get over 500 to get your place in Trinity College, and you had that dream. So uh, when we spoke, you were probably in, uh, you know, you were still quite anxious about things. Let's just put it that way. So what made a big difference to you from, from the time we spoke in March? 
I remember us speaking and it was after your seminar. And I remember just thinking to myself, the basics are there. It's just everything. You're all going back to basics. Your study plan has gone back to basics. You know, your schedule, your weekly schedule is going back to basics. I think the problem with leaving search is that people jump into the deep end. They think that, oh, studying here today, doing work, and then you go home, do your homework that's due for tomorrow, and then you're jumping into studying after that. Your sleeping pattern becomes irregular. People are giving up sports, diet becomes poor, all sorts of things like that. You kind of put it into a different perspective that it will you know, it was there just as it was all the time throughout the years. It was, it's, I know, how do I phrase this even? You have to break the leaving cert down like you break every year down. It's like college exams, you know, you have to break them down. The work is there for you to do, but you break it down and do it at your own pace. But some people might find it easy, other, others might find ridiculously hard. I was never an English person or a literature person or a language person. I was always a sciencey person in maths. And like, I took ordinary level English because I wasn't able for it. I felt so downgraded because of it. And I look back and it was the best decision I ever made because I was never going to be good at English. You can't be good at everything. So I think going back to that, it was kind of when we talked, it was highlighting what I needed to focus on more and focus on what I need to, the notes were made, the study was done. It was a matter now of just refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. So you did a lot of the work over the winter time. You did a lot of the work beforehand. You were doing the work on an ongoing basis. Is that correct? Yeah. So stick to a plan and um, don't stick to, what I found was don't stick to a plan um, that you have large gaps in because what happens is you become lazy. It's like transition year. I found it such a you know, wake up call when I went into fifth year. And especially even summer now, and I'm easing back into things and you're jumping into lectures, and you're kind of like, oh, this, the ball is moving now, you know, the hard work begins. And um, I do bit by bit, do it, like make a schedule, what has to be done. Your biology book, go to the front of it, write down all the chapters, write down, I must revise this, this date, whatever. Then towards the end of the year, you shouldn't be looking at notes. You should be going back, you should be revising, saying exam questions, I know how to do this question. Well, this is a question I don't know how to do, I'm probably going to ask my teacher or look up the American schemes. The American schemes are just there from taking early. Mm, brilliant, yeah. And for any girl or boy who's out there that's, say, feeling um, anxious or nervous, uh, what message would you give to them? don't don't feel any bit anxious or nervous and I know that's so hard to say but when you're on the other side of it now you look back and you're like oh my god the leaving stuff like what was I thinking you know like like you're jumping into the deep end really when you get to college and you're you know you're walked into it it's it's fine it's this is where the work begins the leaving search the leaving search is just this wall this brick wall that's there you have to burst through that brick wall to get to where you want to and um, what I'd say is also go for what you think you are capable of don't do something because someone is else is doing it and because don't think of the money a lot of people I know loads of people that wanted to do these massive courses and they'd come out with career opportunities because you know the salary is massive or something you're too young to be thinking of that. You know, you're 17 to 19 years of age. I know some people who've done their leaving cert went back when they were 20 and 21 and stuff. I know people that went back when they were older. And the solid dentals, they were not happy with what they first chose to do. Do you know? Um, you know, do things you like, you like, do things you have an interest in, do things you're good at. I was never one for languages. And now I'm in my course. I absolutely love what I'm doing. And, you know, I look back and say, okay, well, I have to get through this just to get where I want to know. Um, another thing is, don't let anyone upon anyone criticise what you want to do in college. But ever, wherever you want to go, try for it. If you wanted to go to Oxford, apply for Oxford. If you want to go to do a PLC, do a PLC. You will work your way up. Do not let anyone downgrade your decisions. Your education is a fantastic, fantastic pathway. And, you know, take each bit as it comes and enjoy every single moment of it. And I know at times that can be hard because you're forced to do stuff you don't want to do. 
Mm. Like I'm currently doing medicinal law as one of my modules. And I'm not a law person at all or English or literature. And I'm finding it hard. Mm. But at the same time, I, I know like I still have to do it. But I know once I get through it, I'll still be on, you know, doing stuff I like. Mm -hmm. um, also consider backup options. There is 101 ways into everything. You know, like maybe... I know people in my course that want to do postgrad in medicine. I know people who are in my course. There's currently 24, 25 mature students. There's one an accountant. There's one, um, there was one a dentist, actually. There's one a teacher. Um, there's loads of things. Just because they weren't happy with the careers they chose and they said after a while it wasn't for them. And that's perfectly fine, too. And you had this dream. Like, I remember your challenge was, you know, uh, coming from 300 points, your dream course was 500 points. How did you stick to that dream? What, what, how did you stay on track? And people were telling you, you won't be able to do this. And that's what you asked me. Can you go up by, we, we had a conversation after a seminar, right? And you said to me, can you go up by 200 points? And, you know, how do you, I can't remember exactly what I said, but I think it was, it was along the lines of, of course you can. Yeah, the first thing you said, you, were, you started laughing in my face and you were like, whoever said that clearly doesn't have an education themselves. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> and um, I just remember saying to myself, God, actually, do you know what? It is possible, you know, if you do, do the maths, do the grades, whatever. But the first thing I done was after that, you know, the prospectus is from the college. I cut out one from Trinity and I said, I'm going there. I put it on my, I put it on oh, my, my wall. So, yeah, I just said, no, I'm going there. And I remember my mum was in Dublin and she, um, she, I remember I was with her, it was like a year after that. And she goes, she said, that's where you're going to go. And I was like, yeah, that's where I'm going to go. You know, be determined. You're not being cocky. You're, you're just determined. Everyone's yeah. determined to. And unfortunately it is, you know, college places are a competition. You know, it is, it's all random selection, but it's still a competition to get the most points. But you're in competition with no one but, but yourself. You know, you want to get the best out of what you do. Um, another thing as well, when I came here to the community open day, I was back in fifth year. You know, the college campus t-shirts. I bought one of those and I had it in a box in my room. And I just said, I'm going to wear that someday around the campus. And if people said, do you go to Trinity? I said, yeah, I do. Do you know? Um, I know people that have done that for UCD. I know people that have done that for Galway. I know people who have done it for everywhere, you know. And I wouldn't feel downgraded no matter what college anyone would choose to go or what route they want to do. If people want to take a year out and work, if they have to, let them do it. You know, do different things. Like, make a plan for yourself. The one thing you told me to do was write everything down. And I still have the book you, the book you give us in the seminars. You give us a book and... It, some of it was blank. I remember just making tables and making plans and doing little doodles, which seems so stupid. Like, yes. I remember someone, someone opened it one day and they were like, "What's this?" And I was like, "They were like a stethoscope. Why are you drawing a stethoscope?" So, because I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be a nurse. I said, "I'm gonna go down the medical route." And they were like, "Why have you drawn a clock and a statue?" And I said, "Because this Trinity is known for the outside with the clock and the gauge and the statues." And then they said, "All right," and they were like. And why have you this, why have you this timeline made? And I said, because this is what I want. Things might mightn't go that way, but it's a net rough estimate of what how I want it to go. Well, and I love it. You're seeing yourself in college. And some people they say their expectations might be too high. So what would you say to them? Or what would you say to any leaving search student right now who's considering where they want to be next year and doesn't have a clue? For anyone that doesn't have a clue, um write out your interests, write out what you would like to do. Um, research, 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 qualifax, um, careers portal, all these different things. Ask your teachers, go to a college open days. Don't be afraid. I know someone who was absolutely mortified to do art in college and she was gifted at it. And I remember we had a fantastic careers guidance teacher and careers guidance teacher, like she repeated her leave and search and didn't know what to do. It wasn't this year, it was a few years back. And she goes, I want to do art in college, but I can't say I'm repeating to go and study art. Like, And she's like, of course you can. She's like, you didn't have a clue what you wanted to do. Um, you know, take your time. Don't rush into a course. You know, you have to consider as well, college costs money. And if you rush into things, the mon money kind of just goes. <laughs> but 
don't be afraid along them lines either. If you don't like the course you're in, say it to your parents. They shouldn't have a problem. They, your parents really only want the be- what's best for you, really. Um, you know, consider backup options. For me, I always wanted to do medicine, but I said, look, if it took me to repeat my leave and start to get the points first, which it did, maybe it wasn't for me if I'm going to be in the deep end with all these people who could just get 625 like, in the click of a finger or something yeah. like that. There's nothing wrong. You're you're young. You're only we're only babies yet. Do you know what I'm being realistic? We are. And what about for any student right now who's struggling with study, who's struggling to get down to it? What 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 did you do, or what difference did what was what technique or anything that you could advise someone? Okay, so the first thing I done was the day I met you. I deleted. I didn't delete my accounts. I deleted the apps from my phone. Deleted everything from my phone. I um. I don't didn't know we have a long network uh, password for our Wi-Fi at home, so straight away I disconnected from the Wi-Fi. I wasn't going to connect into it again. I blocked my 3G. I had only calls to and from my parents, and I deleted everything I could. The one thing I did keep because I found um, it was good. Just you know, for an hour if you want to go for a walk, I kept my music. That was good. But I had you know the little cash boxes you can buy with the key in the lock. I bought one of them and I remember every single day I used to put my phone to it, give it to my mum and just lock it and say, well, I have the key now, but I'm still not getting it, you know? Um, but what else did I do? You know, I just... So managing the phone was a big thing for you. I can't remember telling you, to, did, did I tell you to delete everything? I was just, I gave some strategies to help you with the phone, but definitely you started to manage your phone better. Yeah, I remember you told us as a group, you said, um, look, just, you know, give it a break. What's a month going to kill you? What's two months going to kill you? It's not. You're not missing anything. In fact, you're kind of winding yourself up, to be fairly honest, which you are. You're, you're totally winding yourself up. I'll never forget when I started my repeat year and my friend got her. We had actually planned on repeating together. And she, results day came and she was kind of like, oh God, I doubt my course is going to drop by that much. Off his day, she got her course. She got global business in DCU. And I'll never forget you saying, I'm in this on my own. And I wasn't. You know, there's about four or 5,000 other people in the country beating the Lehman search. So that was fine, whatever. And I said to, I said, I, I, you know, I said to her, I said, have a great time in college, whatever. And we chatted every day. And I remember just looking at the snaps from my out, and it was just constant. It was just, oh my God, you know, dice is on a Monday, half is on a Wednesday. I was having the time of their lives. They didn't seem to do any work. You know, you're kind of like thinking, how does this sink in their minds? You know, is this, you know, are they actually working there? You know, are they, you know, is it work hard, play harder? And on three weeks in into repeat, I kind of just settled in, and I had come to terms with what was happening. And I said, it's not for, it's not for the, you know, the doubt. It's for a benefit. It's a benefit. It's all. I, this is all beneficial. And my phone goes, and it's a FaceTime call from Grace. And I answered the call, and the tears were streaming down her face. And I just said, what's wrong? And she goes, Cassandra, I burst into college. She says, I've just totally become, like, absolutely engrossed in social life. College is actually work. And, um, you know, I didn't really cop. And I think, you know, she kind of settled into things then. And she's doing, like, she's doing excellent now. Like, she's top for class, like, and, um, you know, she's, she's, I couldn't be more proud of her as a friend. But... That for me was a wake up call, you know, and she said it to herself. She just said, I think at first it was kind of, you don't realize it. I think as well that if you discipline yourself towards the end of the leaving search, you will be disciplined for college, you know. And no what do you mean by discipline? So, how would you mean discipline? Okay, so what I found when I first came here was that there's no mum or dad here to tell me, oh, will you put down the phone and just do your work? you know, which happened to me a lot last year. Um, what I found as well was that, you know, you're doing your own thing, which means you need, you need to discipline yourself. You need to say, look, Sandra, you're not going out tonight, or you're not going doing this, or you're not going doing that unless you use this work done, unless your assignment's done. Do not be last minute with Anthem. You know, upon Anthem, you know, don't be last minute with your exams. You're not going to learn a whole syllable in the space of an hour for an exam. Don't say to yourself, I'm going to do this in the morning because you won't. You won't learn it in the morning at the exam. What I'd say as well is that um, start now. Just start from the very, very beginning. 
yeah and work while you have the time you know like do one exam question a day you know do one you know topic a day do cell biology do cell division you know break it down and whatever you find hard then really really work with that i remember like the first year i done my leaving cert i had not a clue about trigonometry i remember going into my exam and it was just my own fault i wasn't practicing questions and i was like oh my god like sine cause tan what you know kind of this sort of thing and i was begging for them questions on the paper this this time last year for the solid dentals i tackled into exam papers and like the marking schemes out there the marking scheme was actually telling me what to do it was saying i, I was looking at it and i, I the first thing i done was look at the marking scheme and i said well how do i get from this part to this part and you just you literally differentiate it you know you go back and say, well actually this is how it's done you know this is you know this is how they got from here and this is what it must be it must be a rule you know and um, it's just basics like that you know really discipline yourself you know organize yourself really really organize yourself there's no nicer feeling than being you know organized and being you know having all your necessities and using them wisely you know it's a good good feeling once you have all the stuff got then just put it all on paper you know just really plan yourself plan your study but as well as that plan your free time you know enjoy your sports enjoy your what you know you're maybe home and away in the evenings or your very not you know enjoy your your boots enjoy going for a walk enjoy stuff like that you know i definitely consider as well your sleep like that was my problem the amount of times i've done all nighters and it, it just doesn't work in secondary school from college maybe but not in secondary school you know when you say all nighters was that studying all night or parking at the weekend what exactly was all nighters all nighters was on a, from a Monday to Friday. So Monday, um, school started for me. I was in school for maybe eight, just because it was my lift. Um, but school itself started at nine, nine to four. Then study in the evenings after school, study from four until eight. You know, you're coming home. By then, you might go to bed for an hour maybe. And then it's you know it's a case where you're like, oh god, right, okay, well maybe I should do my homework now you know homework is done then and then you're like oh god this is due for tomorrow and it's going to fall away for the night and you might even see your bed until maybe five or six o'clock in the following morning yeah 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 and just i'm conscious of, of, of time now so i'm gonna wrap up but um just when i met you was march what did you take away from 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 my seminar when we when uh, you attended that was there one or two things that kind of jumped out at you yeah, definitely the whole focus on positivity, focus on, sorry, but, sorry, um, definitely focus on, on the whole positive side of, um, you know, the studying, you know, everything is possible, things are possible, there's nothing that isn't possible, you know, um, do for yourself, more importantly, don't do it for anyone else, and organize, 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 organize yourself, right, use your time wisely, it's only a few weeks, if, well, yeah, it's not even now, it's a few months now. Like, but come, time flies so quickly when you're in leaving search. It really, really does. And uh, just again, just to go back to the anxiety, and I'm just going to wrap up on this. So, what, if a girl out there right now is feeling nervous, you're saying to her, don't. Is there anything particular she can do to cope? Could you repeat that again? Sorry. Just on the anxiety thing, because a lot of people get nervous going into exams and you know, they make it bigger than what it is. What would you say to that girl tonight? Don't, don't, don't. For your own sake, don't. You know, keep saying you will be, ah, I know, I know like everyone says you, you'll be fine. You will you'll be, be fine. fine. You'll be fine. And you're, and you're absolute testament to that. And Cassandra, I just want to say congratulations again. It is amazing to see you in Trinity College. And I'm just thrilled uh, that you're there and your story is uh, you're 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 an absolute inspiration and thank you uh, for uh, for giving me the gift of working with you so thank you. Well, thank you so much for your help and honestly, I that was really the kick up the behind just having the motion. <laughs> really. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, listen, I know you got a train to catch, so uh, go get your train and listen. Thank you, uh, thank you for everything. Perfect. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.